Welcome to Fight Watch, ladies and gentlemen. Joseph Valtellini versus Raymond Daniels. Glory 13, December 2013 in Tokyo, correct? Yeah, and this was probably um, my most high-profile fight, I would have to say. Um, it's one of the most popular fights that I fought in. Um, it's one of the fights that made me, you know, the more popular fighter that I became. So I'm pretty you're not, excited. You're not that popular. Yeah. But uh, so you fought Nikki later that night, right? Yeah, I had to fight two fights now, in one now night. Now that was the fight that kind of defined you in a lot of people's eyes. Yeah. But, but this fight was almost as important or more important, you're saying? It was a, a tournament that I think it really showed um, who I was as a fighter because um, I'm, in this fight we're going to watch, I fought Raymond Daniels, who was this um, point karate fighter that everybody was nervous to fight. He was scared, undefeated. Um, he was a, he's a human highlight reel. He just wants to knock right. everybody out with spin kicks. So I was terrified. I was actually more scared to fight Raymond Daniels than I was to fight Nikki Holtzky. All right, here we go. Let's hit so play. So let's watch it. Look at this fresh-faced young child. Yeah. You look like a baby. I wish I had a tighter fade, though. My hair was a little long. <laughs> yeah. Well, so, but so you, when you say you were terrified, like right before you walked down the tunnel, are you like thinking in your head, God, no. I wish I didn't no, have to do this? At this point, you don't, you know, at this point it's too late. So, I mean, I think that the most I'm nervous would be um, going to the arena. Once, you, once you're there, there's, you're in a zone, you're in a mindset that it doesn't really matter. You don't even hear. There, I think there was somewhere along the lines of 10,000 um, Japanese fans. It was a huge night. Um, we had Peter Ertz and Rico Verhoeven. Uh, Remy Bonyaski, like just a crazy night and atmosphere. And the Japanese have to be some of the most passionate fans you'll ever meet. And just walking down, they were screaming, yelling. It just, um, it gives you a good feel to be in Japan. Now, a lot of people didn't believe you had a chance, not only in this fight, but obviously to win the tournament. How much self-belief did you have in yourself and your team have in Everything. yourself? Everything. It was, uh, I knew I was going to be a world champion before I even got to this tournament. I just knew um, it was going to take so, some good work. And that 24-0 and is scary. It's just because he's so unorthodox, and it's when you fight someone that you're always used to, like a traditional kickboxer is going to stand, he's going to throw one, two, three kick, kick punch, very um, things that you're used to, where he's going to throw more unorthodox style kicks, side kicks, he blitzes funny, um, he'll be in a southpaw, bouncing, pendulum stepping, so timing is different, so um, you have to really fight someone like this strategically, and you have to have that confidence. Did you, did you want to try and crowd him a little bit, get inside his grill? It was all about pressure, man. As soon as you know someone's going to throw a spinning hook kick, you got to close up to them like glue, and that was the, the strategy. So you're going to see in the first round, it's just trying to find my distance, trying to get the comfort level, um, make him circle around, and let me establish that center. And there's your boy Troy there in the corner. He's been at every one of your fights, correct? Every one of my fights is in my corner. And yes. that's actually uh, Jason Vomoa, uh, Jay Vomoa. He's actually Mark Hunt's coach, uh, one of Mark Hunt's coach, which is pretty cool. He was a friend of my coach who couldn't make it, so um, he helped me out because he lives in Japan. And my up-and-coming MMA fighter, Matt Svesha. And Tim Hughes with the introduction. He does yes. a good job, huh? He does okay, yeah. yeah. He's in the room uh, with us here. He's one of my favorites. We'll, you know, we'll, we'll give him props. Yeah. yeah, of course he's one of our favorites. I want, my, I want my ringtone to be Tim announcing me. I'm sure, or you know what you should do is have him do a voice message what, what saying, they call? you've called Joseph Valtellini. I like it. Yeah. All right, Raymond, the bell's this, ring. This, so this was kind of annoying. Look at it already. It's 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. You just saved yourself 15 seconds, Raymond Daniels. You can run, but you can't hide, right? So that's that blitz style that he does. See how he hits, side kicks. There's not many kickboxers who you'll see fight that way. So for me, it's like, just close the distance. It's not even what I'm going to throw. It's just get close to him, touch him. Make sure you're not a, a highlight reel. Did he respect you coming into this fight? Um, I think he, I don't know as much as he did. I don't think he was used to um, that style that I had. And um, it, this was the blueprint to beat him. 24-0, not many people has beat him. But since this, um, it gave him the blueprint. Nikki Holtzkin was able to beat him twice with that same kind of style of cornering him, pressuring him. But since Raymond Daniel has left glory, um, he really hasn't fought these high-level kickboxers. And, you know, he is a champion in other organizations, but hard, solid kickboxing beats that point karate style. Has he gotten better since this fight? Absolutely. Even since then, when he's fought in, uh, Nikki Holtzkin, um, after they both fought for uh, my world title, um, that I gave up. So uh, Raymond Daniels showed um, in that last fight he got better. His boxing, his movement. Um, if it wasn't for, he ended up, um, Nikki ended up cutting Raymond Daniels. Um, if it wasn't, 
you know, Daniels was looking good. So, did you bring your own food over here? Or were you eating sushi all week? <laughs> no, it's hard. I couldn't even order anything. I know you've been to Japan. It's hard to order, and that was the hardest thing for me. Um, and people always said, yeah, isn't it so great to fight internationally? You're like, it is, but it's not. It's, it's nice to go visit and travel internationally, but fighting, you're on a, you know, I was a 13-hour uh, plane ride. I had cramps built up behind my knees. It took like three, four days for the cramps to get out of my lot legs. Of, I'm hearing a lot of excuses, but keep going. <laughs> a lot of excuses. You know, they had a, they have a McDonald's there. I know that's your favorite oh, now, yeah, right? Yeah, that's good for weight. You get, you get Uber Eats every morning, right? Yeah, yeah. What, do you, the, what do they bring you No, now? I like the uh, bacon and egg McMuffin. Okay. That's my thing. Really? If I'm going to cheat, it's a bacon and egg McMuffin. Yeah. Two and, of them. And right now, you're on this all-fat diet, which yeah. we're not going to get into, but somehow you look like a, a machine still. Oh. So now the low, low kicks are starting to add up. It's not as uh, comfortable for him to move. So it's just this round was more of the investment. Let's see what he's got. He's trying to do those side kicks to the leg. And, and are you thinking eventually he's going to get tired? It seems like he darts out, darts in, darts out, darts in. Well, Duke Rufus is commentating, and a oh, lot of people. Oh, 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 that actually oh. hurt my shoulder. Really? Actually, yeah, the way it felt actually hurt my shoulder. I had Your to, left or right shoulder? I don't remember which one that was. You gotta rewind that. But you can see now, I'm not as intimidated by his explosive striking. I'm, I'm closing. Low kicks are starting to add up. You can see him, close the distance, don't let him move. Don't let him move. I could have done a better job at cutting the ring off. I was letting him go, but. So at this point, has Nikki already fought and won? Uh, Nikki would have fought um, Karapet Karapetian and ended up knocking him down with a, a left hook. So you're not even considering that fight right now. You're just thinking. No, you just got to think of this fight. Yeah. And that's the issue with tournaments. I mean, um, I'm not a big fan of tournaments. This was my first tournament I've ever been in. I think there's too many variables in tournaments. And as you know, in the in the main uh, fight when I fought Nikki, I still felt that if I was a fresher fighter, my things could have been different uh, on my end. So not a big tournament fan, um, and you got to think I was the. But this I only made, this, had, this, this made I was your only, name. This tournament helped bring you to the But to I'm masses. ten and one, right? I'm, I was ten and one at this point. No tournament experience, um, where these guys had more fights, so they're able to maybe use that uh, fight experience they had. There's Alyssa. Yeah. Still looking very pretty. <laughs> I'm sure she appreciates that. That well, shout out. Pretty Alyssa. Whoa. Playboy, playmate. She's still pretty. She's still pretty. Yeah. She's a nice Maybe girl she has too. a boyfriend. I can't say anything. Right. Did you bring your girlfriend with you to Tokyo or uh, just your dad? No, just my dad. <laughs> <laughs> I think at this point I already broke up with the. She couldn't handle the fighting. Oh, the fight. So game. just dad. the fight life. So this is the distance control now. This is where I figured him out now. I know the distance. His legs starting to hurt. You can see his legs are hurting. Yeah. See that blitz style? Yeah. So after he throws, I keep that tight guard. And after he throws, boom, I got some good pressure and low kicks coming. Now, it, what was your corner tell you right after that? Well, it's just more. You got to be a little bit more active. I was waiting a little too long, um, but it was more calculating distance. So, did you think you had one round one, or you, was your game plan, hey, let him settle in round one, we'll, we'll get him to the It next was more two. right away, just keep close to him. It, it wasn't more, it's not, you never want to lose a round or, or, or take a round off, but it was more figuring him up right there. Nice, so. low kicks. Now he's switching stances. Bang. Mm. So, at this point, this is where the Raymond Daniels got exposed. You're famous for your low kicks. Who's the best low kicker you faced? I really haven't fought anyone with good low kicks, to be honest. That ended up giving me any problems with my low kicks. I mean, not one. I still don't think there is anyone that uses them as well as me um, right now. There's a lot of good low kickers, but I think with low kicks, people really attack, but they don't have the mentality to finish the leg. And I think, I mean, um, guys need to, the legs one or two shots away from being finished, what happens? Guys start focusing over on the head. They punch the head. They punch the head. That's because the glamour the shot. It's the glamour, glamour shot. Yeah. But the leg is like a, a, a flick away from being finished. But guys don't finish. I mean, uh, my glory, my second glory fight, I fought um, You can see how he's starting to drop Ombre. his left hand to try and block those kicks, yeah. too. That's the plan of the low kick, right? Tried going upstairs there. He lost his balance. Well, you're just stalking him now. Yeah, that's Are you what thinking knockout's thing. coming? No, it's, this is what we you call ring control. So I'm, I'm just keeping him there. As soon as he moves any of the directions, left or right, I'm going to try to capitalize on the leg like that. And it's so, his left leg you're targeting or either leg? Um, it depends which way he's moving. So if I keep him against the ropes, if he goes to the left, I usually have you know a hook. If he goes to the right, I got my low kicks. So I'm there, and as soon as he tries to move or exit out from the ring, I'm going to take his legs. Now, we know you had to retire because of 
concussions. Were you having any head problems at this point of your career at all? No, no. I mean, the problem with concussions is you don't know when you get them half the time. And I mean, this is fighting, so you probably get one every single fight. Um, it's just the symptoms, right? But uh, no, no problems here. Even if Daniels had won this fight, there's no way he would have been anything. There would be anything left of him. No, for he would have he to fight much. Nicky. Yeah, Nicky would have taken his legs right away. One or two more low kicks, he would have, he would have felt it. I mean, he's barely standing right now. You're just having fun right now, aren't you? Yeah, picking my shot. Oh, a little late there, but it's all right. You're dirty. <laughs> it's, it's all right. Yeah, it's all right. Let that one slide. Now, where's your dad sitting? Is he screaming and uh, yelling? I think he was just him? by... Uh, is he a quiet dad? Home. Is he a soccer dad? What is he? I don't know. I'm in the ring, so I don't really know. You don't um, hear him going, come on, Joe! If you watch the um, behind the scenes of this fight, like, you can see my dad's emotion. Um, when, when I think I just got, you know, dropped for that knockdown, my dad freaks out and kind of yells. When you hurt your shoulder? No, when uh, in the Nikki fight after. Oh. You have to go back and watch This Was Tokyo, Glory Tokyo, and then you can see some of my pop's emotions. But I hated watching that, man. You never want to see your dad's emotion of your son getting hurt. Or I actually had my dad in my corner for one of my fights. But wouldn't you like to see his reaction when you knock down Daniels here in a minute? Yeah, but not in the corner. That was my point. Like, I don't want to see my, oh, I got my dad in the corner. That's what happened in Vegas. I got cut by an elbow in a full rules Muay Thai fight. And I saw my dad in the corner. I was like, yeah, that's the last person you really want to see, right? What about your mom? What if your mom My mom there? never came, so uh, she, I'll be okay with that. She'll watch on TV, and then once she knows I'm safe, she'll yeah. come back and she'll watch. So here we go, the final round. What's your mentality now? Same game plan, or your guy saying, look, close the show, let's get out of here and move to the Well, my finals. corner was trying to get him to, uh, me to use some feints, try to fake him out a little bit, get him to bite on something, and then counter off. But I knew the leg was hurt here, and it was a matter of time of uh, to go high with the kick. So once you really take those legs, and you said it when we were watching it, his hand starts going down. His left hand drops. So it's all about confidence in your defense and pressure fighting. You started Taekwondo when you were, what, like five, and you got a black belt by nine or ten? Um, I, I started when I was like seven, ended up getting my black belt sometime when I was in like 10, 10, 10 or 11, and I got my second degree black belt when I was 14. Did 14, your 15? coaches back then or your sensei or your master think uh, I'd be here? Think, well, acknowledge how good you were, especially with your kicks and the power. Uh, I was good. Any, any local tournament I went to, uh, I, I dominated. I won almost every tournament I've gone to, especially when it comes to the sparring. Here's the finish now. Yeah, you can see. He wants no part in this fight. It. So He's now done. he knows the low kick. Bang! Oh! Good night. And that's it. Yeah, it was perfectly timed. You just waited for that one moment for that one high kick. There's my dad. See him? There he is. There he is, cheering in the back, yelling. So there you go. Papa Valtellini. Another fan helping, me, helping Pops out. Wow. Now, do you have him back there in your locker room, or does he stay out there? No, he stays out there. Yeah. You're happy. You look fresh still. Can, it's prob I speaking. probably forgot that I had one more fight after this. You're thinking, let's, let's, oh, let's party, let's celebrate, and then all of a sudden, oh, I got one more. Relax. Let's go do some sake bombs, dude. But even after this fight, I looked pretty cool, but I ended up having two little black eyes from the fight, and uh, he landed two knees that my, my um, softened up my body a little bit, so I went into the, the finals a little bit of a sore rib. So at this point right now, are you starting to think, uh-oh, i got to fight Nikki Holskin later tonight? Are you still just relishing in the moment of beating the guy who'd never been beaten? No, you just stay focused, and uh, there's not much to it. It doesn't but, matter who but you what, fight. But what are you focused on right now? But, I mean, th at, at this point, Nikki Holtzkin is just another piece of meat across the ring, right? You don't really care who it is. You're so confident in yourself. I'd fight anyone in the world. You throw Rico, you want to throw anybody in there. At that moment, you got no choice. You do it. Who wins a low, low kick contest between you and Rico? Come on. I'm listening. It's me. Come on. What do you say? <laughs> what are you waiting well, for? I'll never, as, as a true martial artist, will never say another person. That sounds like a pay-per-view. And plus, there's no head contact. You Let's can do, do that. It. I'll do it. You versus Rico, only body shots and low kicks. Do I get TRT? Exp uh, to, to, I need some TRT. <laughs> Is that what you need? Yeah. I, I just get no drug testing before. Yeah. No problem. I would just need a shield of armor, and I can do it. So yeah, you can see the black eyes building up, but yeah, I got more work to do after that. It was a pretty cool night for me. I mean, like you said, it was one of the toughest nights in my career, but I ended up getting one of the top knockouts, um, you know, and I ended up getting a fight of the year with Nikki in one night, so not a bad night. Not a bad night. It'll live in infamy. Joseph Faltellini, my man. Nice watching it with you, buddy. It was fun.
You're watching Glory Kickboxing, the next generation of stand-up fighting. You got the most exciting fighters in the world. You got the most non-stop action. And the best knockouts. Subscribe here.